Hey everybody, it's Tia at B5 B5 Designs. Jeez, can I say my own channel name? And I'm back to share what I picked up at Hobby Lobby today. I decided to go there on my lunch break. And I am currently my latest obsession. One of many. Um, I'm really digging these house plants that they have. And I do have, I got a I put my succulent garden stuff up at Christmas time so I could display my gingerbread houses and I haven't gotten them back out and I need to do that. But um, I am thinking about hanging these. I think I said this in my last video because um, I picked some up last week and I don't know what my phone just did. Um, the this was on clearance regularly twelve ninety nine. I got it for seven ninety nine. They have all of their like artificial house plant whatever you want to call it, um, clearanced out. So I don't know if they're just moving things around because they're moving their fairy garden section. Oh my goodness! So here's um, but I loved this, so I went ahead and got it. I. <laughs> Here's the sad little story. So it's actually a hanging one, as you can kind of see from that. And like I said, I paid $7.99. When I buy stuff like this, I always get it in twos. I got home, was coming in the door from work, and I had, you know, my cell phone in my hand, my little clutch purse or whatever it's called and two bags from Hobby Lobby and I don't know my husband said here let me help you and I was like oh no it's okay I got it and I dropped the bag so the other one completely shattered but I did save the little uh, plant out of it so I will be able to do something else with it but yeah, I was a little upset. So here is the plant part. And then I really am trying to not buy just to buy. Um, so I'm kind of trying to think in terms of the projects I'm planning to make. And I don't know what that... Um projects I'm planning to do and then what I anticipate maybe needing for a swap. Now I have not signed up for any fruit swaps yet. Um, I haven't seen any actually. I don't, um, a lot of times I'm like, I don't know if I should, I don't know if I have the time, whatever. And my immediate idea with swapping was as I was only going to do one a month and I'm kind of sticking to that although I have I will have two in May and two in June that's um as far as I've gotten as far as that goes but I saw this little lemon thing and it was a dollar 87 you know what I got my reading glasses at Dollar Tree and they are either not the strength that they say they are or something because it is driving me nuts and then I saw these, and I have a plan. They were kind of pricey for being on clearance, but they were eight forty nine to begin with. But they were four twenty four, and I have that fairy garden kit, journaling kit coming from Rebecca Hoot. And I don't know, mushrooms just scream fairy garden to me. So I grabbed that, and then of course, in anticipation of possibly doing a fruit swap or something. Um, plus I just like it. I grabbed these iron-ons and they were only 94 cents marked down from 3.79. And then I saw someone else haul these and I can't remember who it was. Um, but they, I love border stickers like this. And these were, Stickabilities, uh, anything stickabilities was 40% off, so 40% off of $2.99. And have you guys noticed, or 
is it just me thinking this they don't do 50 percent off like they used to on their stuff and then um i discovered that i think it might have been i don't know I discovered that they do have the transparent art bags and they are self sealing and there's 25 in here and these ones are 11.4 by 14 so they're pretty big let me kind of and uh, this will be perfect to put um, you know swaps in like I'm doing a, a spring tote swap and so I can put my tote inside of this I think um, they have bigger they have smaller these are actually in the art section by like where the sketch pads and paint brushes are and I was really glad to see them because I wouldn't know what size to buy first of all and this might not be big enough but they do have bigger like I said um but I do think just as a precautionary maybe not so much in the summer but you just never know um you know when you're mailing something happy mail swaps whatever um it, I think it's just better in my thoughts right now to go ahead and secure them in another piece of plastic um, especially because of my experience earlier in the week when it was raining so bad here and I had gotten some stuff from Etsy and then, um, my kit from Rebecca Hoot, which she always secures in a baseball flap thingy. I can't remember what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, but my stuff from Etsy, um, was in a cardboard box and it was, I don't know why they didn't put it in my mailbox, uh, because it was, they both were small enough to go into the mailbox or, you know, my mailbox is pretty good size. Um, and I don't know why they didn't do that. So I was kind of frustrated because the Etsy one was a gift for one of my sons. Thank God it was plastic inside and it did not get damaged, but it was like dripping wet. I was not happy. Um, Anyway, I did pick up these papers. They were on sale and they just, I was very uh, drawn to them. Floral, of course, and big old butterfly. And I always get two. Sometimes I don't, but most times I do. I Do I need any more paper of any sort? Nope. And of course, lemons and then watermelons and now that i look at this i think i might have it or a version of it so that is it for me from hobby lobby i am going to come back on and show you guys what oops i am so sorry just because of the fact that i'm towards the end of this video i'm not going to redo it i apologize um i'm gonna come back and show you what i got at our library used book sale i'm super super excited i'll be back